All right, a Russellville woman is angry with the school district after she says her autistic five-year-old child was hit by the teacher during class. TV 11's Ashley Godwin explains what happened. Yeah, I went to Russellville to talk to the mom and the school district today. Tashina Roper says on August 23rd, her son was struck by his teacher during class. She says she was shocked, and now she is wondering how the teacher is able to continue teaching at the school. Of course, I kind of immediately like, hold on, what did you just say? It was around 10 a.m. on August 23rd when Tashina Roper got a call from the principal that her son had been struck by his teacher. And they pulled me aside in the office to just kind of explain to me that they were in circle time, which he had been having problems with. He doesn't like to sit in a group. It kind of triggers him. He, he got up and started running in the classroom. She got up and went after him. The witness statement says they heard her scream bad boy at him. They heard the slap, heard him start crying and her say, do I need to do that again? Six witness statements were taken from several faculty members at the school, including two teachers who were outside the classroom at the time. The teacher was placed on administrative leave as the school investigated, but after a month, the school confirms she is now teaching in the classrooms again, with the incident still under investigation. Roper says she's even more frustrated. The school isn't giving her any details. The Russellville School District has yet to comment because they say both parties have involved legal representation, but they did include a statement that says they are committed to ensuring the safety of all students and staff. All they'll tell me is that they're, they can't tell me anything. Um, I was assured by the assistant superintendent, Dr. Brackett, that you know it was being taken care of, that this was, as far as punishment goes, one of the worst ones he's seen but couldn't tell me what it was. I don't want other parents to have to, other kids to have to deal with this. And there was a report filed with the Russellville Police Department, but no charges have been filed against the teacher. And this past March, lawmakers passed a bill making it Arkansas law that no school district or teacher can enforce corporal punishment on a child with disabilities.